How can you create stunning cinematics in Minecraft 1.20.1? Well, using the replay mod, of course. With this mod, you can truly create amazing cinematic style video using Minecraft. And a lot of it's just done all in Minecraft. It's really, really cool. And this video is end to end, meaning we're going to show you how to install the replay mod. We're also going to show you how to get FFmpeg and export your first video using a replay mod. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. First things first, you want to go to this link. It's going to be the second one in the description down below. That will take you here. It's our complete text guide on getting the replay mod. And it's worth checking out if you do want to get the replay mod kind of at, you know, at your own pace. Or if you have any issues, those are mostly answered here. But let's go ahead and click the yellow download replay mod button to go to the official replay mod download page. On this page, you want to scroll down and click on the download button next to the 1.20.1 version. When you do, it will go ahead and start downloading right away. You may need to keep or save the replay mod depending on your browser. Just uh, keep it in the bottom left or save it in the center of your screen on another browser like Firefox or maybe, maybe Microsoft Edge. I don't know exactly. But while that's downloading, how about a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below to break down the next YZ slash SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, we have amazing high quality hardware. You can easily install mods, plugins, or mod packs. The choice is up to you. Or if you just want a vanilla server, we support those as well. We support any version of Minecraft that's out there. And if you have any issues with your server, we have an amazing knowledge base to help you out, as well as live chat support that you can access anytime. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown that XYZ slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft server. Again, with mod packs, plugins, mods, it doesn't matter what you want. It's all supported. Go check it out. Again, the breakdown that XYZ slash SGH. The, the replay mod has now finished downloading in the bottom left. We then want to go ahead and move on to Fabric itself. Fabric is the mod loader that basically allows the replay mod to work with Minecraft. We have this guide in the description. It goes over everything in depth. We're just going over the basics in this video. Once you go ahead and click on the download fabric button here and that will go ahead and take you to the official fabric download page or you want to click on this download universal jar link here again similar to the replay mod you may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser lastly we need one more thing and that's the fabric api the fabric api is basically fabrics api mod you know the process at this point scroll down click on the download fabric api button this is a bit different though. What we want to do is click on files here, and then we want to go ahead and find the 1.20.1 fabric API, which is right up here at the top, as you can see. Go ahead and click the three dots and click download file, and the file will begin downloading after a few seconds. Nevertheless, we have now downloaded everything we need to download. We have the replay mod, we have the fabric API, and we have the fabric installer. We minimize our browser to go ahead and move those to our desktop. To do that, go ahead and open up the start menu, and then you can type in downloads. You will have a downloads file folder. Go ahead and open up that and then in here you'll have fabric the fabric installer and the replay mod drag and drop these to your desktop now to get started we're actually going to be working with this fabric installer file so we can move the fabric api file and the replay mod to the side here we're working with this one now to install fabric what you want to do is right click on it click on open with click on java and then click ok but nick i don't have java well if you don't have java here what you want to do is go to the description down below and check out this link this is our link to download java and it goes over how to get java for minecraft mods specifically java 17 is required for minecraft mods after you've got that, you may need to run the jar fix, and this is going to link the .jar files on your computer back to Java, making them work happily together. Both of these are super in-depth. We've got videos as well as in-depth guides on both of them to help you make sure you get things up and running with Java. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and what we want to do is, again, right-click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java and click OK. That's going to open up the Fabric Installer. And in the Fabric Installer, we want to make sure that 1.20.1 is selected. We want to make sure Create Profile is checked and then just click Install. There are two reasons this may not work. One, if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.1 before, that's the case. Go play it without any mods or anything like that. Just open it to the main menu and once you open it, close out of it. That's simple. And then you can install Fabric. You also want to make sure that neither Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. If either of those are open, close out of them. Reopen up the Fabric installer. Install Fabric. You're good to go. Now let's go ahead and click OK. Successfully installed. Close out of the Fabric installer and delete it. Now let's go ahead and get the Fabric API. Most importantly, the Replay mod installed in Minecraft. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. 
then in the Minecraft launcher, don't click play, don't do anything. What we want to do is locate our fabric profile in the installations tab. That's because we don't have to open up Minecraft to install these mods. So let's go ahead and click on installations up here at the top. And right there it is, fabric loader 1.20.1. If you don't see this, make sure that it's checked over here on versions. As you can see, if we uncheck modded, it disappears. You check modded, there it is. But if for whatever reason you still don't have this, we can go ahead and click new installation. I'm going to name this simple game hosting, but you can name it anything you want. The reason I'm naming it simple game hosting is that the best place to start your very own Minecraft server. It's going to go in the version drop down box here, and what we want to find is release fabric loader 1.20.1. Right here it is, right here at the top. You may need to scroll down to find it, but for me it's right at the top. I'm also going to change our resolution so we can see later and click create. Now we have this new simple game hosting profile that most importantly has fabric loader 121 under it. However, how do we install the mods? Well, once you're here, you found your fabric profile, click on the folder on the right hand side. And this will work whether you created the fabric profile or you're using the one that was there by default. Once this is open, you want to find your mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, neither do I. So just go ahead and right click, create a new folder, and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Now what we want to do is take and drag and drop both of these mods, Fabric API and the Replay mod, to our mods folder here. So we drag and drop these in here, right like so. And we can double check by just reopening the mods folder, making sure they're there, and then we can close out of the mods folder. Now your mod's installed. All we've got to do to launch Minecraft with the Replay mod is play it with the Fabric installation. So click play, and then click play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft. And now guess what? Minecraft's going to open up with the Replay mod. Now at this point, you can record videos in game and you can view them, but you won't be able to export them. I'll show you how to do that here in a second, but let's just confirm everything's working before we move forward with getting a thing called FFmpeg to allow you to export your videos. So here we are, Minecraft is open, and we can see we have this little button here. This is the Replay viewer. When a replay is recorded, this is where it will be. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. We jump into multiplayer here and we join our simple game hosting server. It'll start recording right away, right? Replay mod is just going to work. It's just just going to start recording and we'll be good to go. How do we know this? Well, it does recording in the top left up here. With that being said, what if you don't want to record everything all the time? Well, you can hit escape and you can pause or stop the recording. So if we stop the recording, it'll stop it. If we start another one, it'll start recording. If we pause the recording, it will pause. And then we could, for example, run to a completely new location, right? We can move our character over to here. Then we can start the recording again by clicking resume and it will pick up right where it left off. It, it really is really cool. All you can do, you can stop it from recording, for example, in between your matches of Hypixel or whatever you wanted to do, right? If you're doing Sky Wars on Hypixel, you could record the matches by just quickly stopping and starting it. So tons of options there. And of course, if you disconnect, it's going to stop the recording and you can see it's saving the replay file. Now, if we want to access the replay files, which we created two there, click done. We can go to the replay viewer and here they are. Both of them are here. It's crazy. They're both 19 seconds. But as you can see, both of these are here. This is the first one we did. This is the second one that we did. If we load these by just clicking the load button when they're selected, you can see what it looks like. And boom, that was when the recording uh, was paused there and it skipped me forward. Um, really, really cool what can be done with this. You can move your camera around however you want. But before we start getting into that, let's go ahead and install FFmpeg. Because right now, if I was to try to export this, let me just show you what happens. So now I've added in the time keyframes here and the stuff that you need to do to create a replay. If you click render camera path and then we go ahead and try to render um, Minecraft may just crash as you can see it says to render this video you need FFmpeg installed so I'm going to go ahead and close out of Minecraft and then once we've done that we can go to the description of this video that will take you here this is the docs for the replay mod and this has way more than what we're going to be covering in this video as far as like speed timing actually you know creating a ton of videos and really getting artistic with things we're showing you kind of the basics here, but once you're here, what you want to do is scroll down and click on this installing FFmpeg. Once you've found this, you want to click on the next to download latest FFmpeg release, this link here. Right away, FFmpeg will begin downloading. We can go ahead and minimize our browser, and FFmpeg is obviously going to be in the downloads folder, so go ahead and go to your downloads folder, just like we did earlier, and once you've done that, you will find FFmpeg drag it to your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, open up the Minecraft launcher. Now in the Minecraft launcher, what we want to do is the same thing we did when we were installing the replay mod. We want to go to the installations tab and then click on the folder to open our Minecraft folder. Let me show you. So here we are, click on installations and then click on the folder for fabric or the one you created. Doesn't matter. Just click on this folder and it's going to open up right here, your Minecraft folder. Now drag and drop FFmpeg into this Minecraft folder. We're not quite done though. What we want to do is we have this FFmpeg compressed zipped here. This file type is compressed zipped. Right click on this, click extract all, 
and click extract. Once this finishes, you're done. You have installed FFmpeg and you'll be able to export videos using the replay mod. So here we go. As you can see, FFmpeg is here. Everything is working. Now we can go ahead and play Minecraft using our fabric installation with the replay mod. And when we join on in, we'll be able to access that video and actually export it. So here we are. We are in Minecraft. And if we click that replay viewer, we can access the video that we were editing. And guess what? It saved everything like the keyframing and things like that that I put in there. And let me go ahead and explain that really fast just because it is important to know. So what we're doing here is there's two things you need to do. You need to add time keyframes and position keyframes. Position is where in the video the camera is located. So as you can see, here is one position keyframe. If I wanted to add in another, we can come right here and do that. Now, getting this timing right is important for sure. And that's why it is so important to make sure that you read that documentation because it's going to go over things a lot better than I do. But if we come in here and we set a position keyframe, I'm also going to go ahead and set a time keyframe. So you can see where both of those are kind of linked there. And then we can go ahead and click render and it's going to export this. I'm just going to leave everything the same because I'm assuming that's what you're going to end up doing. There's really not much you can change here. You can change bitrate, things like that if you want, but you don't have to. And then click render. I'll meet you once this has finished rendering. And by the way, you can actually click to... Uh, show this rendering in real time. There we go, the render is now successful. You can go ahead and click the open video folder here, and guess what? It's going to open up your video folder. This is actually in the .minecraft folder. This is where we had our mods folder earlier. This is also where we put FFmpeg earlier. So this is where our replay videos are, and this is the little video that we created. It's not gonna be that great. Uh, things, like I said, timing-wise are gonna be weird, but that's by design because, well, I'm not that great with figuring all that out with replay mod. That's why you should check out the document documentation that I was talking about earlier. But nonetheless, that's how you can create a video and a replay mod. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and check out Simple Game Hosting if you want to start your very own Minecraft server. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.